Good night and welcome to Benal Madena's first in listening news broadcast. Digital Costa del Sol brings you every Friday all the information about this week's news. The sports center at Benal Madena Pueblo has been suffering for years from an access problem which restricted its use. Now, thanks to the works on the Fuentezuela Road, City Hall expects to solve this problem. Benalmadena's mayor, Victor Navas, and Roads and Works Councilman, Joaquín Villazón, visit the works on Camino de la Fuentezuela on Tuesday to see firsthand its progress and highlight its importance for the area. Navas stressed the need to improve the alternative entrance to the sports center in Benalmadena Pueblo. This work is necessary to provide a dignified and appropriate entrance to a sports center, such as the one in Benalmadena Pueblo, which hosts a large number of sports activities and users, as well as a multitude of sport schools. With the roundabout that was previously built and the new access that we are now developing, the Camino de la Fuentezuela will finally be a wide and adequate access for a sports center. The mayor took the opportunity to explain that a complication during the construction work has slowed down its execution, forcing the work to be modified. The initially planned time frame and investment have been modified due to the destabilization of one of the sides of the road, the one next to the bull ring, which has forced us to undertake a series of emergency measures as well as an alternative route for the road, taking advantage of the fact that we have had to change the route of the road. We are now improving the surroundings to create a larger garden area. He also denied the rumor that the bull ring is being demolished and announced that they are preparing a project to rehabilitate it and use it as a cultural center. I want to make this very clear to the public in order to put an end to a series of rumors. We are not going to demolish the bull ring. We are only working on an alternative route for the road, which has allowed us to improve the surroundings. The government team is planning to draw up a project to convert the bull ring into a cultural space, which will allow the organization of cultural events and act as a meeting point for culture in Benalmadena Pueblo. For his part, Villazón explained that the collapse of the slope and a problem with the electricity pylons in the area have complicated the execution of these works. During the works, one of the sides of the road was in danger of collapsing, forcing us to modify the initial planning. The work had to be carried out in an area very close to the boot ring due to the presence of two electricity pylons, which, although the company has already planned their removal, we not know the planned date and we couldn't wait any longer. For this reason, we have moved the road closer to the boot ring to avoid the electricity pylons, and we have also taken the opportunity to create a landscape area at the back to beautify the entrance to Penalmadena Pueblo while improving access to the sport center. The councilman highlighted the value of the intervention, stressing that it will help to improve the area for the future, announcing that it should be finished between October and November. With this project, we seek to provide a double access to the sports center of Benalmadena Pueblo to avoid users having to detour to the area around the cemetery. We estimate that the work will be completed in about three months, between October and November, almost coinciding with the start of the new sport season. Our municipality leads from tourism, and last weekend we extended our offer a bit more if possible thanks to the inauguration of a motorhome parking area, a project born thanks to the ambition and push of the retired doctor Lorenzo Valderrama. Benalmadena now has a parking area for motorhomes thanks to the efforts and tenacity of Lorenzo Valderrama, a well-known doctor from our municipality who has always shown his love for Benalmadena through the various projects in which he has been involved. In the mid-70s, he founded the Nautical Club, of which he has been president for more than 20 years. And now, after his retirement, he decided to undertake another great project, the creation of this recreational area for caravan tourism, which is already a reality. It is probably the best municipality on the Costa del Sol. 
We have the beach, we have the mountains, we have the marina, the nautical club, the sports centers, an ideal climate. What was Ben Almadena missing? Well, a motorhome area. We must banish the idea that people still have about the motorhomer being a poor tourist who comes with a van saving money. Do you know what any of the motorhomes that will park in this space are worth? During the opening ceremony of this space that brings new options to the tourist offer of the municipality, we could see many members of Ben Almadena's corporation, including the mayor Victor Navas and public roads councilwoman Encarnación Cortés. Navas praised the figure of Valderrama and thanked him for his efforts to make this gift to the municipality. La verdad que da alegría ver ya... I gotta say it makes me happy to see the motorhome parking almost full. Congratulations, Lorenzo. I think this is a good thing for Ben Almadena and for all motorhomers. To build a motorhome parking area is a responsibility of City Hall, but with that impetus to go ahead as soon as possible, you said, here I am, you authorize me, we reach an agreement, and with a public-private collaboration, we can take it forward. And who is going to say no to Lorenzo? For her part, Cortés recalled how this idea came to her, highlighting Valderrama's push. It's been almost 10 years since we started talking about motorhomes among politicians. And well, the merit is not mine. It belongs to a person you all know and we have here today, who is Lorenzo Valderrama. It was him who at that time started talking to me about this and made me change my mind. The truth is that I think there is something that happens to a lot of us. That we don't know you, we don't know this type of tourism, and we have an old image of how this trip were made. But step by step, we have been getting to know the sector, and he has told me about its benefits. I don't know if you remember that on one occasion a few years ago, we had a motorhome encounter, the first one, precisely in this same area, with the idea of getting to know you and seeing how you live your motorhome holidays. And the truth is that the experience was very positive. Today, we are taking another small step forward. Jesús Gallardo, representative of the Plataforma de Autocaravanas Autónomas, known as PACA, was also present and thanked the corporation for its commitment to this type of tourism, praising the work of Valderrama. Gallardo, who took the opportunity to present books on motorhome legislation as a gift to the mayor and the local police, announced that he will be making Valderrama an honorary member of the platform. Belmadena has become an attractive destination for people with functional diversity thanks to the adapted bathing area at Malapesquera Beach. Last week, this municipal facility received a visit from several members of the government team. Beaches Councilwoman Encarnación Cortés, Social Services Councilwoman Alicia Ladaga, and Head Councilman Juan Carrillo visit the adapted bathing area of Malapesquera Beach last week to highlight the value of this facility as well as the work of Benalmadena's Volunteer Association. Cortés announced that they are already preparing the next tender, which will bring improvements to this great service. Once again, this summer we are providing adapted beach services to guarantee a good summer for its users. The company Socorrismo Málaga, contracted by City Hall, is responsible for assisting the participants with adapted bathing equipment such as amphibious wheelchairs. A new contract is already being drawn up for next season to improve this adapted bathing service, increasing the number of staff dedicated to assisting users of this program, which is in great demand and even has participants from other municipalities. La Daga stressed that this is a very important program in the municipality with 200 people registered this season and spoke on the need to offer this type of space as well as to adapt all possible areas so that they can enjoy them. It is one of the most popular programs organized by Ben Almadena Town Hall and offers the opportunity for elderly and disabled people to take a dip in the sea with the support of lifeguards, enjoying a day at the beach and socializing with their pairs. This year there are 200 people registered in the program so far and a maximum of 20 people can participate in each day of adapted bathing always following the health measures against the pandemic. For his part, Carrillo valued the quality of the facility and the good it brings to the lives of its users. 
We are already in the 14th season of adapted bathing, making it easier for people with mobility problems to enjoy the beach as well as bathing in the sea and all the benefits it brings. Thanks to this amazing facility and the work of both Socorrismo Málaga and the volunteers. Third Age Councilwoman Irene Díaz and Benalmadena's Volunteer Association President Paco Portillo were also present. This association is responsible for bringing the users of our municipality to the facility thanks to an adapted vehicle they have. They also help in the area itself, working in collaboration with Socorrismo Málaga. We have had a good acceptance of the program by the users after the hardest month of the pandemic and many volunteers have offered to help in the development of the program. The Sports Harbor area has installed static gymnastic equipment in Avenida Juan Sebastián Elcano, a pilot test which aims to promote sport practice and healthy lifestyle habits. Sport Harbor Councilwoman Encarnación Cortés and its manager Manuel Jiménez attended the media last week at Avenida Juan Sebastián Elcano to highlight the installation of static gym equipment in the area. This installation is part of a pilot test that has been achieved thanks to the signing of an agreement with Vive Park. Cortés highlighted the quality of the machinery installed and the importance of creating new uses for the public space. As you have been able to see over the last few days, we have installed top of the ranch with training machines on Avenida Juan Sebastián Elcano at the entrance to Capitania and next to Torre Bermeja Beach. It arises from an agreement signed between Puerto Deportivo and Vive Park with the idea of promoting a sustainable use of public roads and what better way to do it than through a sport and healthy living. The councilwoman also praised the location in which they have been placed, perfect for exercising with an amazing view. We want to try out new uses for the public throughout fair and now we will see how the public receive this initiative to turn part of the avenue into an open-air fitness center with our spectacular beaches as a backdrop. Depending on the results of this week's, we will consider its definitive installation for the rest of the year. The machines will initially remain installed for a period of six weeks. For his part, Jiménez was very happy with this new acquisition highlighting the great acceptance it is having. Muy con la... We are very happy with the result of the first days of this pilot test proposed by the Finnish company Vive Park, which has facilitated the installation of these nine high-end machines on public roads, promoting the innovative concept of outdoor fitness. We are in talks with the company to reach a long-term agreement so that it does not remain a pilot test. Vive Park director Marcos Barco valued the technological innovation of these machines that allow intergenerational training. El punto the machines are top of the range and have as a differential element the mechanism to change the weight of the exercise based on the Roman weight, thus allowing an intergenerational training to facilitate its use in family. Each machine has simple instructions and a QR code that leads to a video to show its correct use. Experience in other places indicates that this type of initiative serves as a bridge for the citizens to start going to traditional gyms. UMA's General Foundation organizes talks and presentations in its summer courses, and this week the Economic Transformation Councillor Rogelio Velasco took part in the closing talk post-Brexit, how it affects us. Economic Transformation Regional Chief Rogelio Velasco predicted that the macroeconomic impact of the UK's exit from European Union on the Andalusian economy will cause a 0.2% reduction in annual GPT until 2030. This is the most optimistic estimate his department has been working with, bearing in mind that a range of 0.2 to 0.7% per year was projected. During the closing ceremony of Malaga's university summer course post-Brexit, how it affects us, 
Velasco explained that this approximation has been made taking into account the main trade links between Andalusia and the United Kingdom and the impact of Brexit in our economy. The new trade and cooperation agreement has also been taken into account, of which he clarified that it will not match the level of cooperation that existed when it was a member of the European Union, but it goes much further than traditional free trade agreements. He also pointed out the main indicators that measure both the UK's economic relations with Andalusia and the macroeconomic situation of the Anglo-Saxon country. In this analysis, he highlighted that Andalusian exports to the British market reached almost 800 million euros in the first four months of this year, which translates into an increase of 5.2% year on year. This recovery comes after the end of the transitional period and the acquisition of non-European Union status. In tourism, the impact of the successive waves of the coronavirus and the mobility restrictions measures imposed have had a negative influence. In the first four months of 2021, tourist arrivals from the UK fell by 95.2% year on year, with more than 16,000 visitors from the UK. Tourism from the rest of the world lost less esteem with a total of almost 213,000 tourists and a drop of 86%. In 2020, the number of visitors of British origin decreased by 80% year on year, easing the statistics to almost 583,000 tourists. 2021 has begun with an even greater drop in spending by British tourists in Andalusia, who spent 15 million euros between January and April this year, 95% less than in the same period last year. The effect of Brexit on the sale and purchase of homes by British citizens in Spain also stands out. In the case of Andalusia, it is estimated that in the province of Malaga, they may fall between 20% and 40%, and it is necessary to have a residence permit. And these are today's headlines. Navas visits the works on Camino de la Fuentezuela. Ben Almadena premieres a motorhome parking area. Adapted bathing at Malapesquera Beach. Static gymnastic in the boardwalk. Brexit causes a fall in the annual Andalusian GDP. The weather forecast for the weekend will leave us with fairly cloudy or clear skies with maximum temperatures rising inland and the rest with little change. Winds from the east more intense in the regions of Ronda and Antequera. And that's all. Thank you for watching us. And remember, you can stay up there on our website or social media profile on Facebook and Twitter. Have a good night and enjoy the weekend.